trying not to be so loud because my flatmate is still sleeping but today is the 29th of March and we are off to Spain for a little mini Easter break, a uh, city break, two minutes in here. So we're off to Spain, I actually have to go catch my train what the fuck my train, my train is cancelled. I get lost in those hazy eyes I'm in love with these lazy nights So maybe we can stay back, lay back here and enjoy the ride I don't wanna f- What a disappointment So my train from Red Hill to Gatwick is cancelled So I'm catching two trains actually One from Times Girls to Tombridge Tombridge to Red Hill then Red Hill to Gatwick Airport and they decided that they're gonna cancel my train without me notifying me in advance. I sensed something like this is gonna happen, that's why I decided to leave early. So we're just gonna leave and get ready for the trip. Don't know what's going on. What a bad mood to start the trip with. But anyway, we will get this trip and let's go. So, I'm kind of running late, <laughs> as usual, but I'm walking to the train station at this moment. I think my train is a bit delayed, so that's why I relaxed a bit. So, I'm rushing over to the train station, and my bag is too heavy for my Nike, but we're gonna get going anyway. So, I'll see you guys in a few, and yeah. I don't wanna feel the night I just wanna chill under the northern lights with you I feel the night. I just want to chill under the northern lights with you. With you. I do whatever you want me to do. Say, you saved me. Keep me. Hey guys, so I'm on the train to Red Hill. Connecting from Red Hill to Gatwick, so hopefully I'll get an earlier train to Gatwick or even a later train because basically I'm on time and yeah. Solo travel, my dad. I wanna cry. You want to call? Can I bow? Bow and tell a couple as a how and it's all. I love the way you take it slow. You make this light inside me glow. You're the only one who knows me. Saturate me when I'm gray until all my colors show. I get lost in those hazy eyes. I'm in love with these lazy nights So maybe we can stay back, lay back here and enjoy the ride Hey guys, so 
so I'm in Breton and I just missed the train that I could have caught to supplement for my council train which means I have to wait uh, close to half an hour for the next train to get work. The next train to get work is at like 9.13 and currently it's like 9.39, 9.40 here and it's currently raining, the weather is being horrible, typical England and I got to realize that I forgot my bank card and BRP. Yeah, let's call it a good solo trip, but I won't dwell my thinking on that and yeah, just be positive that everything's gonna go well. So plan is that when I get to the airport, I'll cash out some money so I can get some euros. Yeah, that's the plan and we'll see how it goes. And I hope I get to the airport on time because let's see. No, I'm not trying to buy another ticket. May I have your attention, please, on platform zero? We are sorry to announce that the 0847 Great Western Railway service to Gatwick Airport has been cancelled. This is due to a fault on this train. No, just some BS. So I'll wait for the 913 one because I cannot buy another train ticket because they decided to cancel a train. So I'll leave with the 913 one and it, it takes 30 minutes to arrive in, in Gatwick. Yeah, so we'll leave with that one. So in the meantime, we'll just chill and wait and calm ourselves down because I do not want to overreact because once I overreact, I'm going to get very anxious and the chip is just not going to fall down the way I want. To dream, baby, leave me with nothing to say but say. because I was running they changed the train terminals at the last minute meaning I have to run to the other side of the train station in order to arrive on time yeah so I tried to catch my breath breathe in and breathe out and yeah I'll see you guys at the airport probably after checking in I wanna check in first and then after that go cash some new rules and then yeah and then just light around the airport and then let's so let's go to the airport so lucky I met you it's not logical the way I feel when you walk in the room Not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you. To you. Mm -mm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right. Hey guys. So I got scouted by Apple Police. No security. Because my liquid got hurt my. We're covered by my jacket, but I'm trying to squeeze in back my stuff into my bag. I managed to check in and do everything. So I'll be going to find my boarding gate so I can relax a bit. to hold me like you do mm -hmm. you're so wonderful a star could never shine as bright as you mm -hmm. 
I'll try to the witches to post them on From now on. So what are we having for breakfast brunch today? Let's figure out. I'm thinking of having a uh, Nandis breakfast. But I feel like my body needs something more. Really what should we have? What should we have? I feel like this menu is really limited. It's mostly like a breakfast menu. And I'm trying to have a. You want to try? No problem. Just to make sure to cover up my drink since I was away from my table. So I'm just gonna have my food. And for sauces, I'm going with a tomato sauce, classic. And we're gonna have a peri peri with a lemon and pepper. Let me just like have a taste of the chips because they do look salty. They look salty. Oh, okay. Actually, salty. So let's eat up. Then go find my. So, catch up with you guys.
Shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must. Fell from the sky and I feel um, so lucky I met you. It's not bad to come the way I love features in your eyes. Hush, you are a lahore. You say, like, you say, you're a burroco, a burroco, you must be the cat of my girl. I can't even hack at you, a lady. I'm a I was it done. I can wait wait over her parami ailing gig and I ever done. Forty minutes or more for fun, but an early snacks. It's a two hours of I swear you must have felt from the sky, and I feel so lucky I met you. Spin my whole life waiting. Someone like you, baby. And all we are off to Barcelona. Hey, Batum. My bags are just unreasonably heavy. And I regret taking heavy bags because what was I doing? Who told me to take heavy bags? Yeah, so let's do this. We got this. Let's do this. Hmm? We got this. <sighs> hey guys, so we just boarded the flight to Barcelona mm -hmm. and it's a few minutes before departure. And so far, so good. Let's do this. Let's do this. So far, so good. And of course, I do have a window seat. Just gonna show you guys the. This is our current view. We're still in London. Um, just to have a few minutes before we leave. Um, fly off to somewhere hot where it's not raining. Hey guys, so I think we're kind of going to leave in the next couple of hours. We've got to leave. We're kind of going 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 to leave. Para 
Uh, dear passenger, this is the captain speaking. Possibly. Apologies, but uh, we're going to be stuck here for another maybe 20 or 30 minutes before we're able to start our flight. Unfortunately, the uh, technicians are, are going to take a little bit more time than uh, initially scheduled. Like I said, uh, for safety reasons, obvious uh, safety reasons, all the outsides uh, of the aircraft uh, must be checked before we are able to dispatch the aircraft. Bad situation. Sir Barnera, so happy I'm gonna go now. In three minutes, we can. At this point, I wanna go to your bed. I wanna TV. I wanna see you, baby. Mm -hmm. Jokes. Unfortunately, I got to be the person that got asked questions 
So when I got to immigration, the immigration officer asked me a few questions. Like he asked me, like first he's like, mm, what's on? Where is that? I'm like, oh no, it's just on top of South Africa. Stop being naive and not knowing where Botswana is. It's just on top of South Africa. And then he's like, oh, okay. And then he's like, um, do you have a visa? I'm like, yeah, my visa is in my passport. No, before that, he asked me, like, when are you going back? How many days are you staying? Like, I'm going back on Monday. He's like, where are you going to? I'm going back to the UK. He's like, mm, okay. And then he's like, okay, where's your visa? And then I show him my visa. <clears throat> he seemed surprised when he saw my UK visa. How is this surprising? Yeah. And then after that, he... What did he ask me also? Oh, he asked for my return ticket. For the first time in a country, I've been asked for a return ticket. He asked for my return ticket and then after scouting my passport and scanning it through, I finally, yeah, I finally got my first stamp of the European Union. So I got my stamp here. Barcelona. Yeah, and then that's me for my European visa. So yeah. And then, unfortunately, my shuttle was booked for 17.55 from the airport to the hotel where we're staying. But because my flight was delayed by nearly like two hours, I missed my shuttle and I'm gonna have to wait a few more hours for my shuttle, which is scheduled for 25 past seven. I'll be leaving from the hotel to Magratema and yeah so we're leaving at 25 past 7 and I think currently it's past 6 17 past 6 and I'm exhausted I'm tired the last thing I want to be doing is like sitting in it being in bed not being my black kids i feel like i'm gonna be so burnt out this coming week because surprisingly i accepted an extra shift i accepted an extra shift and i'll be working till saturday which means i'm back to a five day week instead of four day week as planned so the weather here seems great I don't know if because when I landed I was wearing like my cardigan and a big coat but I was sweating, I was literally sweating. I'm not the type of person to sweat over 18 degrees but I was sweating. Looks like it's not humid as it is in the UK and just a bit dry but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so when we get home we do a lot of chit chat, catch up. And flag. I'll probably like show you a little bit of the room, the hotel, and then go and rest. Apparently, in Spain, they have dinner at 10 o'clock. So, I just want to check at what time are we, have, are we gonna have dinner at the hotel because it's an all inclusive hotel, meaning that all my food, all my drinks, literally everything. I eat at any time. Yeah, I'm excited for this little new journey. My first ever solo trip and we're in Barcelona doing this and hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully everything is perfect. Yeah. So surprisingly I was checking my I love holidays app because we are flying with no I have a booking with love holidays for the whole without the whole like we're using love holidays for the whole trip and we'll see how it goes. So far it seems good just that the airline and other stuff inconvenienced me but I'm actually content and happy and happy
happy to be doing this. It's a new trip, it's a new journey, a new phase. Yeah. It's actually nice catching up with you guys. I know I'd be shy vlogging in public, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. I think probably because I now have a smaller tripod. I used to have like a huge tripod, like literally a long tripod. But now I have a smaller tripod, which means I'm able to like discreetly vlog. <clears throat> I'm like, ah, oh, I'm just a girl. Tell me, tell me, you better go to Ola, Ola. Estoy bien, estoy bien, gracias. Muchas gracias.
Hey guys, so I just had dinner and I'm in my hotel room. Doesn't look too bad as I expected. So I'm just gonna do a quick room tour so you guys can see what's going on. What's going on? All right, let's start the quick room tour. So we have the entrance and firstly when you enter you have the sides what do you call this dressing and dressing table and wardrobe yeah and a mini bar fridge <sighs> my room tour is a bit chaotic switch on the light and then this is the bathroom very average not too fancy not too bad and this is the toilet the lavatory yeah, then that's me for the day and a little TV a little couch and this is the bed for the night and we have a balcony room and not quite a view but we have a little bit of a view to the swimming pool the side damn this is high all right so I thought I should show you guys something so when we checked into the hotel this is what we got a uh, wristband and apparently for all the days of your stay you have to have this wristband in order to access any food or any drinks throughout the trip throughout the duration of your stay which is quite weird because it's probably gonna ruin my outfit yeah so i'm just gonna have a shower and color it the day relax and edit this vlog and hopefully it will be up by tomorrow